Hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and today I'm going to be showing you all how you can set up and install Halo Custom Edition if you have a brand new install and set it up with Halo SPV3. In case you don't know, this is a huge modification for the single player on Halo, and it just adds a ton to the game. I've only played a bit of it, and I was playing it on my old PC, one to play on here, but I'd highly recommend giving it a shot. So you're going to need a few things. First of all, you're going to need an internet connection, of course, and you're going to need a CD key for Halo CE Halo Custom Edition. I will not be able to supply that as that is paid software, but you will need a CD key for that. Once you have that, go down to the link in the description for the main Halo SPV3 subreddit so you can ensure you download the latest version. We're going to be installing it assuming that you do not have Halo CE or anything else installed. So what you want to do is you want to download whatever version you're getting. I got the mod content and game package. Once you get it, you just want to go ahead, right click and extract it. Once you have it, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and grab the Halo CE installer, run it as administrator just in case you don't have that available, and you want to go through the install. Once this is done, go ahead, exit out of here, don't run the game, and then you want to take the Halo CE 1.1 patch, right click, run this as administrator, and let it update your game. Once it says that, you can go ahead and exit out of it. Now you want to take OpenSauce 4.0, right click install this, and you want to go ahead and hit next. I accept next and the only thing you're really going to want to change is you might want to change where your Halo custom edition has been installed. I installed it in the default directory in C drive so just make sure you look out for that. But aside from that you don't need anything else on here you can just go ahead and hit next through it all. Now that we're done with that we can go ahead and hit finished. Now what you want to do is you want to open up a second window and you want to find where your Halo custom edition is installed. Mine's installed in x86, we're going to find it in uh, Microsoft games right here halo custom edition and we want to come right here what we're going to do is go back to our mod folder go into halo custom edition copy out these two files right here and paste them if it asks you to overwrite anything go ahead overwrite all and that's about it now that you have that you are completely installed so you can go ahead open up halo custom edition and continue on to the game itself after that once you dial in your settings you just need to go to campaign go over to cmt projects single player v3 and then you can start the game right there start on whatever difficulty you want to all that fun stuff and that's it it's that easy that's all you had to do to get this up and running so now you can go ahead and go through a heavily modified version of the campaign and you'll probably be impressed and a bit surprised at what you see here as well. If you're looking at the gameplay footage and it looks kind of off, that's because I'm playing the game and recording it at 60 frames a second, but because of the way Halo was originally ported over, all the animations are at 30 frames, so that's why it looks so weird on here. But anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone. Hope this video helped you all out. If you enjoyed this video, a like would very much be appreciated, and if you absolutely hated it, a dislike is fine too.